Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Old Vic Tunnels. It's my pleasure actually to give you a tour around this wonderful space today, let you see all the important areas and the areas that you might be dealing with. So, join me as we enter in. Come on in. Okay, so here we are entering into the tunnels through the entrance tunnel 232B. And if you follow me this way, we will go further into the belly of the beast, the Old Vic Tunnels. This is the playing area. Here we are in the only permanent feature of the Old Vic Tunnels. This is the Bunker Bar. Now down here at the Bunker Bar, we tend to serve the patrons who come to see all of our shows. As you can see, inside the Bunker Bar, we can probably house or serve about 100, maybe, 150 patrons but it's a really really interesting space I mean we've got a parquet flooring bar there are some original seats from the old Vic theatre in fact the whole place it's a combination of found materials made materials very arty very cool in here but let's now go to the space you'll actually be using to perform in so let me finally take you into the space I've been telling you so much about now Originally, this space, when we first got hold of the Old Vic Tunnels, was used by Punch Drunk in their project Tunnel 228. And they transformed it by hanging light bulbs all along the ceiling here. And in the corner, there was a Jesus piece. Very, very atmospheric. However, this is going to be your space for this project. We are going to transform this space into three separate areas for you to put on your own productions. Now, first of all, if you can imagine, this space here is gonna become space one. We're gonna put up the necessary lighting, sound, and seating for you to put on any kind of performance in here. Let's call this space one. Now, space one will have a division here at this platform. There'll be a wall put across here, and then this side will become space number two. Now we'll do the same thing again. We'll set you up with the necessary electrics, lights, and seating. It's a performance area. You put on what you like. But if you remember correctly, I said there was three performance areas. And the third performance area is the most exciting, if you ask me, because in here, I don't know if you can see in there, but there is the ability to have an intimate performance space. We can have two or three members of an audience and an actual performer in there. Now, it's up to you if you wanna put maybe a screen up here and have more members of the audience be able to see what's going on in there. But I think it's really exciting for the kind of intimate performances you could do in there. Anyway, enough of me giving you ideas. This, at the moment, is my tunnel. It's time to make it your tunnel.